G'day all, and welcome back to Unimig. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this gravity-defying wine bottle holder using just a piece of 40 by three flat bar and some 48 mil pipe. Now I've seen these things go for about $50 on the internet, but I'm gonna make mine for under 15. So let's get stuck in. Here's a mock-up of the wine holder. Of course, you can follow along with our design or you can customize it to your own liking. All the materials you'll need is a piece of 40 by three flat bar and some 48 mil pipe. And the tools you'll need, a combination square, a half round file, an angle grinder, chalk, a rule, and a piece of packing strap. So this piece of packing strap isn't normally part of my normal toolbox, but I will show you what to do with it later. First, measure out the flat bar. You need to measure five pieces at 120 millimeters long. Now cut the pieces where you mark them. Now move on to measuring the cross angles. We will need to measure eight 45 degree angles. On the ends of the two of your pieces, mark down 20 millimeters and join the corner with that mark. Ultimately, we want the base plate to look like this. Be sure to check the measurements twice. You know the old saying, measure twice, cut once. Here's our completed measurements. Also make sure the upright piece is marked with the angles running in the same direction. Whereas the other pieces, the angles should run in opposites. Now let's put them in the vise and cut them accordingly. Onto the 48 mm pipe. And set your combination square to 75 mm and mark in from the end of the pipe. We'll use the packing strap, wrap it around the pipe like so, and then mark the pipe with some chalk. Now cut the pipe where it's marked all around. Make sure to clean off the burrs on the outside of your pipe using a grinder and a flat disc. Clean the burrs of the inside of the pipe with a half round file. Always inspect your handiwork. Yep, that's perfect. Be sure to sand the burrs off your flat bar sections where you've cut your angles. Now to my favorite part, the welding. Today, I'll be using the Unimig Razor 200 ACDC machine for TIG welding. First, let's set up our machine to suit our project. So first of all, I'm going to put my machine on DC. Leave my trigger on 4T and program my tungsten to 2.4. My pre-gas is going to be 0.2. My start amps are going to be 80. My upslope is going to be 0.2. My peak amps are going to be 90. My downslope, 0.2. My finish amps are going to be 80. And my post gas is going to be 0.5. Tack the base plate together and make sure everything lines up prior to welding. Now, weld all the pieces of the base plate together. Sand your welds flush using a flap disc. And round off all the corners to give the base plate a more sleek look. You can use a 90 degree magnet to hold up the upright piece while you tack it. So what I've got to do now is mark a line along the axis of the pipe. So I use this piece of angle, which fits snug around the pipe like that, and just mark it with the chalk, just like that. Now tack the pipe to the upright piece. Now onto the welding. Weld the pipe to the upright section.
Once you're happy with your weld, give it a clean with a Y brush and maybe give it a one server with a flat disc. So now that our wine bottle holder is welded, sanded, I've rounded off all the edges, cleaned it up, I'm gonna give it a quick spray job. This is semi-gloss black spray paint. It's already got primer in it, so you don't need primer. So let's get that job done. I recommend giving the metal two coats of paint, but be sure to follow the directions of the paint you're using for drying times. So here it is guys, our finished product. Our gravity defying wine bottle holder is all finished. Fits like a dream as you can see. Don't forget to tag us in our socials and hashtag Unimig. We'd love to see what project you're doing and we'll see you next time.